Yeah, thank you so much for coming here. It's amazing to see you all, meet you all and be together in this um, powerful space that, as Adam said, we put up together in, in three weeks. So thank you all to the <coughs> team who was there and also thank you everyone for coming and enjoying the center. So that is really great. It's, it's, a, it's a place where we really can come together to empower ourselves and really get to know the power that is so natural to us, the beneficial potency that is our essence, the beneficial potency that is our nature completely. So we get, to, we get familiar with that when we come together here and listening to talks and being involved in the training allows us to more and more recognize that beneficial potency in every moment of our life in every moment and we can simply introduce ourselves to that when we stop thinking for a moment and we can all test it now we just stop thinking for a moment and recognize what remains there's this alertness stability that is always present open intelligence always there and maybe then the next thought comes in oh i, c I cannot stop thinking the next thought comes in how is that possible? And we don't need to try to stop the thinking. The thoughts will just come on in and that is totally fine because we more and more see that open intelligence is inseparable from our thoughts, emotions, sensations, that there's something about us is always present, always on, always there, untouched, unaffected, never goes anywhere. Even if we are lost in our mind patterns or in our thoughts, emotions, sensations, whatever it is, there's always something that is present that, that noticed that we are lost in a, in, in, in a mind pattern or that, that noticed all these thoughts, all the data. We simply call them data. We don't even need to give them any description. Just data. Data arising. And we just tested that out. We can test that out today the whole day. Whenever data comes up, we just stop for a moment and relax body and mind completely. Recognize that open intelligence that is always present, that that knows, that sees, that experiences everything. We rest for a short moment there. We let everything be as it is. And then maybe then the next thought, they come again. And then we just stop again and we rest deeply. And then we, whenever we remember to do that, we do that during the day. And maybe the first day when we test it, we remember it two times or three times. And that's completely fine. It's um, slowly, slowly, we remember it more and more. Whenever we naturally remember to do, so we just rest body and mind. That's all we need to do. Just for a split second, short moments. Repeat it many times. So we don't need to prolong anything, not prolonging a state of no thoughts or prolonging a state of, of anything, just resting completely, resting as that present that is always there, open intelligence, for short moments repeated many times. Such a simple practice, such a simple practice that we can repeat whatever, whatever we are doing each day. If we are going to the beach, if we are speaking with friends, if we are working, putting up the center together, or if whatever we do, if you're working, we can do it everywhere. We can do it here in India, we can do it wherever we are from. It doesn't matter. No matter what we are involved with, with which religion we are involved with, with, no matter what, what background we have. So powerful. That was really, that what really um, has drawn me to the, this teaching, because it, everything is included, and no matter what, we can do it wherever we want, whatever we are doing. We're just taking short moments, resting our mind completely, and recognizing that something about us is always powerful, something that knows exactly in each moment how to be and how to act. That's our natural capacity to know, our power to be skillful in each circumstance, to be of benefit, seeing in every circumstance what, what would be best, how to relate to people in each circumstance. Really using all our strengths, gifts and talents to contribute to the world. I never knew how to do that. I, I always thought I don't have anything to contribute. And now to really relax completely and seeing more and more how I can actually do that, just through the ease of my own being, just relaxing completely and seeing that, wow, everybody has so much to offer. 
and to contribute. And not only that, we have also the energy to follow it through. That's also amazing. Suddenly we just, we are having this amazing energy there because we are not so locked into all our data and locked into all our um, thoughts and emotions and sensations. I was so busy with trying to rearrange my d data, my thoughts, my emotions, trying to get rid of them, trying to get the good ones in place, the bad ones away. So much energy went into that and now to be introduced to just allow everything to be as it is. Nothing needs to change. Not my negative thoughts, not my positive thoughts. They can just be there completely as they are. Just complete ease within whatever it is, letting everything be as it is. So let's, so we can really test that out, especially with the negative ones, because I was so used to replacing that with positive. So that was a good testing ground for me. So when afflictive states come up, usually those are the negative ones we want to get rid, rid of. So just then allow it to be as it is. Suddenly I could see I could be completely at ease with with my sadness or completely at ease with anger. I always thought I need to get rid of anger so I will not behave in a way that will be not of benefit. But what I found is by letting it be as it is, the anger can be there, it can be completely roaring, but I know it doesn't affect me in a way how I speak, how I relate, how I am, because I can see what will be of most benefit. Actually, this anger fuels to see skillful how to be of benefit. It's just energy that really allows us to really um, be skillful. We just labeled it as anger or something that we need to get rid of. We just allow it to be as it is and we can just test that out. Testing it out for short moments when these data come up. Resting mind completely, body and mind. Resting completely there. Nothing need to be done with anything of that. Then we see the inseparability of our data, the inseparability of data and open intelligence. Open intelligence is always present within every data. Every data. So just testing it out, giving ourselves a few days, a few weeks, I don't know how long you're here. That's what I did, I just tested it out, just came to the open meetings. We have open meetings every day except Sundays where we come together, we listen to always a different talk, there are always different trainers also, they are sharing their experiences. Then we have introductory trainings where we can just test it out, written trainings. And in the afternoons we have like ongoing now until March. And also other trainings we will offer and, and, and just testing it out for ourselves. That's the invitation, testing it out in our own experience. Really using the instructions given to test it out and see in our own direct experience. That is the most powerful. We immediately see when we rest our body and mind that all is well, all is at ease completely. And then we just repeat it again and again. So initially it takes a little bit time to get used to this way of just allowing our mind completely to be as it is. And that's completely fine. That's why we have, why we offer also trainings, the Four Mainstays, which is our our um, support system where we really allow ourselves to really train up in that completely, which are all the trainings that we offer, with the short practice of short moments, a trainer and the community together. All these together, we can really empower ourselves using all the instructions given to really empower ourselves short moment by short moment.